as we all are very aware that you're on the, this webinar, um, mobility is exploding. So you can see where we are in terms of the market and what is predicted to happen. Um, it's a 10 billion market currently and is expected to grow at 100% year over year. Um, that exposes a lot of opportunity plus a lot of challenges. And so um, the IT challenges are the traditional challenges, right? Um, especially if you're doing agile with your mobility applications. So you've got a tremendous amount of change. You've got some new technology. Mo mobile is, is relatively new. Um, but to be able to deliver quickly, um, to be able to deliver uh, uh, complex, uh, robust features, it, it all takes its toll um, if you aren't doing appropriate testing. And this is an example of what a lot of you guys are facing. Instead of dealing with six-month cycles, so we're in the traditional, probably quarterly cycles are, are even lengthy at this point in time. Um, most customers I talk to are doing releases around uh, monthly if they're doing Agile. So you have a lot of changes coming down through your applications. And specific to the mobility applications, you have a tremendous amount of, of operating systems that you have to support. So your testing or your permutations of what you need to out and verify works and doesn't work um, becomes very, very challenging. This is also, in the age of blogging and social media, is also a very um, exposed um, element because people, if they have a bad experience uh, with your application or on your site, um, there tend to be a number of different ways that they can uh, advertise that. And so it becomes pretty um, important to, to, to have mobile applications that not only are very robust, and feature intensive, but also that work and can handle the amount of users and the amount of requirements that your business demands. So we know why it's so difficult, right? It's the traditional QA difficulties, but adding on to now you have all those devices that you need to um, you need to test against, and so typically. This is what a mobile test lab looks like. You have a number of devices out there with some operating systems. You're doing what you can, right? There's not a lot of automation. So someone picks a device, sits down, and um, goes through your app to make sure it works. There's not a lot of security checking, not a lot of change management. Costs can start to get prohibitive as, as you have to invest into these devices with the different operating systems. And so what we're presenting today is a solution that is a combination of HP, UFT, and a company called Perfecto Mobile, and we'll get into that. But what they, what we, um, what essentially the solution entails is five pillars of approach. So you start with devices that are accessible to you via the cloud. So um, you subscribe to this service, you can utilize whatever devices and operating systems that you are required to be able to support your application on. Again, this really helps because you don't have to deal with the devices, you don't have to deal with switching out operating systems, um, the, you know, being, getting access to operating systems even before they come out so you can test can, can even be a big challenge. Um, so it really takes a lot of the lab management out of your hands so you can really focus on what you want to be good at. And so these are a combination of real devices and emulators, and I'll talk about that. So we're talking real smartphones and real tablets in conjunction with emulators. And this whole cloud setup allows you to go through and do manual exploratory testing or set up automation. Um, the, the, the old automation ROI um, spiel of, you know, record once and replay across different environments holds true for mobility, so we'll talk about that. And of course, these solutions um, integrate with the, the traditional HP, ALM, um, and UFT solutions. So you're not having to learn a new set of solutions to do this, you're just expanding your existing knowledge set. Um, so this is the HP uh, mobile application solution. The, the, 
the value coming out of that is obviously we really want to shorten your testing phases. We want to be uh, allow you to be able to release rapidly, so keep up with Dev. Reuse these tests and and to do true uh, testing on real devices. And so, how does it work? Well, essentially, um, when we get into the demo, you'll see me. I'll access devices through emulators on the internet, and this is where we set up our tests. We can either just go through exploratory testing or you can actually record, um, generate a script. Once we've got the, the script generated, then we can replay it across the devices. And so when we go and execute um, through the emulator, it's actually connecting to devices in um, what's called cradles. The per Perfecto Mobile has these cradles throughout the world um, that are sitting out there that have the devices, and I'll show you a, a, a movie on this. And so when you execute a test through UFT, it actually pushes, um, it actually is executing on a device out there. So when we're looking at UFT Mobile, which is the, the actual name of the solution, um, we're talking about interfacing with HP's UFT, so Quick Test Pro, right, for you guys have been using it for a while, but using an add-in called the HP UFT Mobile add-in that gives you access to these devices to go and create tests and execute tests. When we talk about performance testing, and this is my two minutes of performance testing, we'll have a subsequent webinar on this, um, we are talking about using Load Runner to actually generate the load in the traditional sense with VUGen. So VUGen would record an emulator and it would record the traffic, the HTTP traffic, or you could put a sniffer on your, your first tier server, grab packets of information and generate a script that way. In Load Runner, after you've got your scripts and you're running them, you use Shanra to emulate the 4G or the 3G connectivity or the different connectivity that mobile devices come from. And that's where the bulk of your load is, is being generated, is that traditional set. During a load test, you will run one of these uh, HP UFT mobile uh, scripts as well out on the device to get the true end-to-end -end experience. And, and that whole concept, run, running a, a UFT script is not new, right? We used to call that GUI testing. And, um, that tends to be a best practice on your technology. And so we're now we're just extending this out into the um, mobility arena as well. Okay, so at this point in time, kind of taking you through that summary, let me show you what I'm talking about. So this is what we are talking about when we talk about um, devices and cradles. Hi, and welcome to Perfecto Mobile. The Mobile Cloud is a software as a service cloud based platform enabling web access to real devices operating in live networks around the world. This video should help clarify some confusion on the physical devices connected to the Perfecto Mobile Cloud. All connected devices are standard, unchanged, and fully functional. These are real devices secured and placed directly into the Perfecto Mobile Cloud. There's no need to dismantle any device. The device is mounted into the cradle and connected with a USB. It's really this simple. Okay, so with that concept in mind, how do you access those cradles or those devices, right? And what I, I am now on a virtual machine that has um, UFT. So essentially, I opened it up. Right, I've got HP Quick Test Professional on here, or UFT. I believe this is version 11 or 11.5. 11 um, and I've opened up a test, and I've added my UFT Mobile Perfect, it's the UFT Mobile add-in. So when I open up Quick Test, and I'll show you this at the end, I just have to go through a login, so I don't want to do it right now. You'll see, um, similar with your other add-ins, right, if you were doing um, Delphi, or if you're doing web, or you're doing anything else that required an add-in, it sits in there. Um, and you select the add-in, and then you have access to this additional viewer right here. And so 
What I'm looking at is I have logged on to Perfecto Mobile's subscription site through Quick Test Pro. And the first thing I get is I get a list of devices. Now these, I only have two, but in your organization, you might have 15 or 20. So that's part of what you decide what you need when you start to use um, this solution set. And so today we're going to focus on the um, Apple iPhone 4S operating system. And to show you this, I'm opening it up, and when I double click on it, it actually brings up a, the device, and this device is connected to that device in, the, in a cradle, what I just showed you. And to prove that out, the easiest way to do this is actually just to probably send a text for you. So let's go ahead, let's come on in here. So does anyone want to, I don't know if you want to, um, why don't you go ahead, if anyone wants to use their cell phone, you don't have to shout it out for everyone, um, put it in the chat. And Will, will you put yours in there, just in case no one else wants to put their cell phone in there? And I'll go get a cell phone number in the chat. All right, so let me put a little message in here. We'll say, hello. Okay, so I'm sending this off. And so did someone get the text yet? Yes, and I just responded back. Oh, great. Good morning. Very nice, very nice. So you can see that this is connected to real devices. So at this point in time, what you can do is go through your traditional UFT, so you would hit record, and you would you know, interact with your application. There are a number of ways you can interact with the application. So obviously you saw me. I, you know, I can actually inter interface with the screen. Um, or you could actually come in here and start to use uh, functions that come out of the box or that you set up for your application. Let's go back home. I've got one I've already recorded, so I'm going to go ahead and open it up, and I'll show you what it looks like when we run it. So this is a script that uses the HP ePrint app. The e HP ePrint app finds a local place to print something out um, with. So you'll kind of see it go through it. It takes a couple of minutes. So as it, as it goes through this, um, I'll go ahead and let you guys watch this. It has a number of checkpoints. It does the text check in here. You can see where we are on the script over here. We've got some sinks in there and some weights as well. So any of you guys who are familiar with UFT recognize some of these functions. We timed out. So let's go in. And let me show you the, the result set that comes up with these so you can see what it looks like. I'm going to go ahead and stop. But similar to any UFT result set, we can go through here and now take a look at what was the problem. Right, and as it ran through, it was also capturing screenshots of everything it was grabbing and interacting with. So you've got your traditional UFT functionality, your, your capability of automating, your capability of extensively grabbing um, detailed level when something fails or if something passes, screenshots or movies, things like that. But now you can extend this out to um, testing of mobility. If we wanted to, we could now use the same script and run it against the Samsung phone. Mm -hmm.